the French are preparing to besiege the great city of Astorga in northern Spain. The year is 1810 and Junot and Messena are preparing to besiege this city as they plan to then use it as a launch pad to invade Portugal. What's up guys and welcome back we have another NTW3 historical battle for you today and yes we have a bit of a siege really. it's not really a, uh, a, a battle at all it's more of a siege. Uh, Though it's going to turn into a bit more than uh, of an act of sort of a, a battle than it was really in history, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one goes down. We do have uh, a uh, well, we don't really have the historical cause here. I don't think in this one we have Dorsen, who is actually um, using the uh, um, there's a six pointer French army, um, and he is uh, like sort of in reality is the northern sort of like army, uh, which I guess is kind of you know useful for for, uh, for Astorga, but he's. Uh, the north that they refer to is like north, north towards uh, France, so like north east rather, north west. And we have Dorsen here already engaging early on in this fight, really, really early on. Then we have uh, another Dorsen here. We might have all Dorsens actually now, I think. But I know Messena over there. And then way at the back. Oh no, is this the same? No, this is all Messena here. This is all Messena here. Is there two Dorsens maybe there? Or maybe two over here. There might be two here, in fact, I think, looking at the uh, the forces moving forward. It looks like we have three Dorsens and a um, and a Messena. So we have Messena here, I guess, Dorsens representing Juno. And then we have four Santo Silde's uh, cause, if I remember correctly, for the Spanish. Uh, he was the historical commander in this one. And uh, as you can see, they're already looking like they're uh, fighting over what is, I guess, supposed to be uh, a stalker here today. Um, it's, it's pretty much similar like that. It's actually uh, Malo. Um, uh, how, the unpronounceable Russian one, Malo Yaro um, as you can see there. So yes, they're already getting uh, ready. Are the French for a bit of an assault by looks of it? They have door senders of a lot of a young guard in it, so that does make them uh, quite handy in a bit of melee, but also in a line fight. And they're big units as well. Like I mean, these are 127 man units. It's a big, big units. So they'll hold for a little while. I mean, some decent cavalry as well. We have um, the. Uh, some of the Polish lances here of the old guard, which are going to be very useful as well. And the Spanish are still on their way. They're slowly moving forward. Actually, young guard already uh, orange line, and that's not a good sign. Losing in this uh, this line fight here by the looks of it. It looks like the uh, Polish lances are going to look for a way in. Whether they're going to just start to go into me melee at the same time as uh, the infantry here, as you can see, already line infantry units are getting ready to columns. By the looks of it, I think we have some combat gens as well. Uh, the generals are under attack already. Um, I think they have more combat gens. We have Italian R3 here, uh, already blasting away with some Volta Gears. But yeah, here we go. In go the Polish Lancers. They are already getting stuck in against some Spanish lines here. And it looks like the Spanish are going to hold for now. But here come the line infantry of the French. And the Spanish are going to meet them in the streets of Astorga. There you go, they are battling away. But yes, if you're a fan of all things NCW3 and want to see some more Napoleonic action, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here, and if you want to show your support, it really just help out the channel. And uh, we work towards sort of 11k subs. So you see the Spanish actually already repulsing the sort of the first wave of the French. Very nice. And so we have uh, yeah quite a few uh, cab units now going around here, some troops, and the uh, Spanish, the Polish lines are back as well. They look like they're going to try and harass some of these here. The Spanish are retreating further up the hill as the French are so overwhelming with numbers here. Yes, this is one of the final replays I'm going to be doing. I have one other replay that I'm doing for 9.5, and then I'll be moving on to the 9.6 uh, replays that I have stored up. There's this one and another historical scenario battle that I want to sort of cover before we move on to 9.6. Uh, so if you do have any 9.6 replays that you want to send in, do send them into my Discord. The link is down below in the description, as always. Uh, I'm looking for new uh, replays, obviously, with the new patch out. All my 9.5 ones are slowly going to become defunct uh, when I update as well to, uh, to 9.6, so I can do some streams and show off some new stuff. It's like the new battlefields that we have. Um, but yeah, looks like uh, the French are withdrawing, they've got their Dragoons and their Lance withdrawing as the Spanish Cav is now arriving, as you can see here, in large numbers as well. And the Spanish, uh, having retreated back, the French have taken a fair amount of Astorga early on here. The Spanish are withdrawing and allowing them deep into the city, which might allow them to still get some more uh, flanking shots and also charges of their own. It looks like the Spanish also set up artillery here. Look at this! It's point blank range on the French here, and they're going to be dropping multiple French 
uh, units here very, very easily. And they need to just get a bayonet charge and straight away with these Colonel and General. And where they'll get a chance at the line of two here in the artillery, combining these French might to break pretty quickly. So there you go, in go the French. They're going into uh, melee against the guns. They're redlining already. There you go. They should, I think, break the skies. I mean, it looks like the French there also uh, going in. Uh, also redlining. It's be very messy. And the French are breaking. Being focused on there. They go the Royal Lichois. They broke. And it looks like the guns are going to break for the French. Infantry's breaking as well. In go Young Guard now. Replace those infantry. Building has fallen to the uh, enemy. I think the best infantry around, like uh, like melee wise, is the middle guard. I have seen one of them. Uh, it's just called a Mayon guard, I think. Uh, that's pretty decent uh, unit. Pretty much like, uh, well, it's the closest it's going to get to old guard levels, I think, uh, when it comes to melee. I don't think any of them have brought like old guard units. Uh, Dorsen, for some bizarre reason, does just have a lot of guard units available. Yeah, there you go. Fuselier Grenadiers. All the way back here, these guys. Uh, looks like. Quite a few of them actually being brought through the Grenadiers. Uh, being kept in reserve. That's probably the wisest thing to do. But yeah, look at this. The French are clearing out the Spanish early on uh, of Astorga. Historically, this was a French victory. They did take it from the Spanish. And uh, it did become a base of operations for them. Um, but yeah, the uh, Brits and the uh, Spanish uh, and the Portuguese force all uh, took it back in around about 1812 I think uh, was the second siege of Astorga this is technically the first siege the French siege of Astorga uh, the second siege was uh, led out by this building has Wellington to the enemy. and his coalition forces but yeah I think now the French slowly occupy most of, this, most of the town the Spanish are in this building here they're going to make that as hard as possible for the French to take I imagine they're going to put units either side of it we've got a general staff here right by the building as well to help with morale more Spanish troops are where they're arriving, where they're re rallying, where the fresh is arriving. Seems a bit, a bit of both. We have more guns arriving as well. Where, the, where they're going to put those, I don't know. But we've got Italians here, we've got Young Guard as well, already uh, sort of getting ready to, to sort of secure this flank. But they seem like they're getting side shot. The, the uh, Young Guard don't seem like they have great morale. Look at that, breaking at 90, these guys. It's quite, actually, pretty surprising for them. They're part of the Imperial Guard, men. Holds better than that. There you go, French. You just say, look like, I don't know, we're going shoot that little hill uh, Spanish unit up there. Spain now is just, you know, just withdrawing to the very back of a store, which is trying to, you know, hold on to the, the LOCs while more Spanish troops have now arrive. Hopefully, we've got some grenadier units in this cause that they can then use those to maybe push back the French because they're going to need to melee their way back into the city. More artillery coming forward as well. That could be quite key to sort of kill off uh, some streets. If we can get good, good kill zones, that could, you know, you know, artillery could be huge. Oh, huge mistake there by the French using an entire artillery unit. I think that's an old guard artillery unit on stakes as well. I think they were trying to wheel that their own uh, artillery forward to try and uh, kill off some zones for infantry. And yeah, that was a big mistake there. And the, uh, hopefully the French um, learn from their lesson. So we've got a nine, pa uh, sorry, a four pounder here moving forward as well. Run into stakes. Hopefully, it's going to go up a different way, but we'll see. Yeah, after that first little bit of excitement, it does seem as though it's sort of calmed down a bit as the the French are sort of you know, just getting in their reserves. They're waiting for all of their troops. Uh, I don't even think Massena has yet arrived. Yeah, we've got Grenadiers in these armies here for Dorsen. It also looks like Guard of Paris. Yeah, they've got some good units. Grenadiers of the Swiss. Uh, yeah, Massena's yet to arrive. I think he might have a uh, a bit of a delay before he can actually arrive. So. Uh, it is actually up against the, the French because, yeah, their 10 pointer is yet to move. So they, yeah, they can't move this guy yet, uh, I guess, until maybe uh, there's probably a certain time limit on that. But, yeah, that's interesting to know. Dorsen's got some Italian artillery here. Yeah, plenty of Italian artillery just sort of pounding on any incoming Spanish troops there. But yeah, I don't, Dorsen at this point, I don't think they need to move forward. I think they're in good order. They've got a good percentage of the town. They can just sort of wait on the Spanish to sort of push back the French, especially since they have just three six-pointers there. I think uh, Santo Sildes is cause eight or a nine-pointer. So going off that, they should be able to sort of muscle their way back into the city. There you go, Young Guard again breaking, getting hit by artillery, and that's 62-man unit breaking there. You see the guns here yeah, down this road here are just absolutely shelling any French units that just pop their heads out. There's, uh, you can see more. So more uh, young guard was just like I don't know actually no it's not it's just line infantry they're just getting shelled as well though. He's 
guys need to get out of the way. No one on this street unless you want to get bombarded by Spanish artillery. It uh, looks like the French actually are setting up some of their own. They probably want to start dueling with the Spanish one. See if we can get rid of that. But it looks like they're quite happy just to blast Spanish infantry ahead of them. Yes, this should certainly be an interesting one. I'm excited to see how this one goes down. But the Spanish might be attempting to sneak this unit. I think they're sneaking this unit through these houses here to make a dash for this bill, uh, for this gun. And I think, yeah, the uh, French player can see that they're wanted, wanting to do that. They are going to actually unload their... Uh, yeah, I think they try to canister. Definitely uh, just miss all that canister there. And now that Spanish unit, if they wanted to, could probably go for a, a melee... Uh, Melee charge there, but we'll see. Looks like this uh, line infantry here is trying to guard the gun as well, which is a good idea. And here we go. Look at this. This is a line upon line of Spanish infantry now arriving. A lot of, yeah, a lot of Spaniards now look like they're going to be entering the building. Or the building, I should say. Yeah, this is really with a Grenadier sort of style hat, and you know when you see a Grenadier from the Spanish, they have some very interesting shaped, well, Grenadier shaped sort of hats. Yeah, it looks like a lot of line infantry. Cav here for the Spanish as well. Interesting, they brought Cav. I would have thought that maybe that would have uh, just kind of been left because there isn't much in the way of uh, space to use the cavalry, that's for sure. Uh, it looks like uh, infantry over here. Actually, yeah, look at this. Looks like the line infantry is focusing down the guns here of the uh, of the uh, of the French, and they look like they're going to red line and maybe break. And it also says the infantry in a prolonged line fight. France is yeah not looking good. Looks like Dorsen is actually going to uh, maybe look like he's going to maybe force some sort of open pitch battle here outside of Astorga. Whether the Spanish will be inclined to take that, I don't know. Might allow their cab to have a bit more success. And there you go, the Spanish have gone in. And they know like they've got rid of the guns. And they're going to get rid of the uh, French infantry as well. And there you go, uh, sort of the, one of the first few melee fights that they've won here today, the Spanish. Here we go, the French are going to try and get revenge. They really want melee fights. The Spanish don't, the French definitely do. There you go, the French beat them back again. Impressive stuff by the Spanish here. Spain looks like he's coming forward over here as well. Whether France is going to be able to uh, close the gap before Spain can set up, that would be huge. This is definitely looking like a very good opportunity for the, uh, for the French. Spain is inviting um, a bit of a line fight. I think they've got cavalry of their own that you know can be a, quite handy. I mean, we've got the, the guard lances and some uh, provisional dragoons. Messena, by the way, is moving forward as well. And yeah, lots of uh, more provisional dragoons moving forward here. Um, but yeah, lots of uh, lots of infantry being brought forward. Looks like a lot, a fair mixture of provisional infantry and other stuff as well. I'm pretty sure this uh, Laguerre here, this uh, Prussian Laguerre, has zero morale. Um, I'm pretty sure that's that, that unit. I remember using them before. I'm like, oh, they have incredible accuracy, but terrible morale. Here you go, France now opening up in a line fight. They definitely have more units. Whether that will be enough, I don't know. They definitely have more units uh, to bring to bear than the Spanish. The Spanish units are definitely like, bigger man for man wise. If I was the French, I would be as aggressive as possible on this Spanish cab once Messena arrives with his. Because uh, it looks like they have the numbers and also possibly the quality with this uh, guard ca cavalry here, these lancers. On a charge, could probably do a serious amount of damage to the Spanish cab. It looks like, yeah. France looks like they're kind of busted over here. Like, so the, like the line of Madrid being forced back. Spain is reclaiming this sort of portion of the town quite nicely. Looks like uh, France is throwing a lot of their dice into this line fight right now. You can see, look at this. We've got one, two, three, four lines of infantry pretty much. If they set up, that looks like four lines pretty much. Yeah, the mixture of guardsmen in there and just line infantry. They're moving forward. I mean, look at them. The spot is beautiful. It really is. It's a great way to show off the scale of the Napoleonic period. Like, tens of thousands of men just want to be found. It's like, damn, it's awesome. Uh, France does look like he's maybe debating a cab fight here. It looks like he's going to go in with his dragoons, test whether these Spanish forms sweat. Looks 
like they can't. Shingo looks good. They're smashed with multiple units actually breaking that unit. And this will get the other one here as well. If they can get in amongst them, look at that. Multiple Spanish units breaking. And they need to try and get in there with the infantry now. Try and back them up. Three units of Spanish breaking there. Now engage the cab. Wavering and um, breaking uh, infantry units here. Will obviously upset the, the cavalry to see orange lining. Now, yeah, the lance is going into the side charge. That should break the back of these dragoons. There you go. That is not too shabby there from the French. Can they go and move the lances into this one? Maybe. We might get these Spaniards as well. Very nicely done there by the French. With the Cav doing most of the heavy lifting there. The infantry is now managing to catch up. But they're getting some of the infantry in here. And it is struggling forward. Artillery here. Very firemen. The French are getting too close. Fire. Just fire whatever you got in there. Canister round shot. Now or never. There you go. Silent artillery. We're doing devastating damage there with the canister. Breaking that unit actually. And yeah, quite a few units breaking for the French. But the Spanish are making a counter attack here in the town. Their routing looks like lots of units. And the middle guard are... Oh no, yeah, the middle guard. Who's their grenadiers? They're redlining. They might steady in a moment. But they are... Uh, yeah, they're... They sound a waver. The guards must be sensing. They're failing. The grenadiers, technically. The Fusilier grenadiers, so they're good at shooting and good at melee, but they should be doing better than this. They're redlining. Not good at all. I mean, they might be getting side shot, I think, here from the Spanish. But yeah, not good. One of the middle guard has won this fight, but yeah, that's not good. And look at that. Yeah, France is storming through this, uh, this force outside. And looks like, yeah, the guard lances. They're just making sure these units stay gone. It's not a bad idea, but they need to get back over here as well. Help complete this victory because Spain is bringing more infantry here. Masena needs to get his cavalry in here and just sort of complete the uh, the sort of the assault here. Yeah, the young guard are uh, starting to break as well. Actually, the French, you know, doesn't look really that great in melee. Looks like they are losing a lot of these melee fights actually to the, uh, to the Spanish. Yeah, look at that. They're starting to be thrown back at these young guardsmen and the Italian infantry as well. Still saying, yeah, still on his way. Looks like with a Messena still hasn't actually entered uh, a stalker yet. Yeah, he's still on his way slowly with the uh, uh, Legion of Ireland, which were historically at this battle uh, as well for the siege. The middle guard have just about saved their honor and have managed to win their fight here, but they're still getting pushed back in the town. It looks like they're going to lose all their gains of the French. And it looks like they're losing a lot of their gains here as well. There's a mass route going on from the French. The uh, Dragoons need to get in here soon. Yeah, you can see Dorsen is just retreating slowly. And Spain is countercharging where he can. Taking advantage of all these routes and French units to try and route some more. And that's how NCW3 works if you're unaware if you're new to the mob. The unit routes next to a, a unit that's steady. It will start to upset it morale wise. All the rousing unit. And that's how you cause mass routes. One unit breaking, then another one uh, being upset and also slowly breaking after being caved in by pressure, being charged by a good bayonet charge. And that's what's happening here with the French. Units are breaking whilst uh, going it well, like and coming out of melee, and units are then following up. They're starting to get upset. Students here failing to. Uh, to really do too much. They've broken, it looks like, one Spanish unit here. The French might break through, but what cost? The general's dead. That is here. This is actually a general unit. Honor Real. Honor Real, who famously goes on to lead one of the corps at Waterloo. He's dead. He's just died here with his uh, line infantry. Yeah, he's a combat gen there. And he's just died. That is not good at all. And France, yeah, is mass rallying. I'm Imagine these are combat gens that are leading these armies here, which is why morale is just so tenuous for them. Yeah, it looks like Spain's done a good job. Very good job. Messena needs to get in here and turn this around. Really does. Get in there, boy. He's got lots of... He's got huge batteries still coming forward here as well. We've got, yeah, 12 pounders and 8 pounders. Get these guys up and firing. They could have used those maybe uh, potentially over here in the uh, land battle as well. We did see a horse artillery for the uh, old guard. Um, that was being used 
uh, inside the city. That could be better at, used out here, I think, to help sort of support this assault. Yeah, France's infantry all weary, broken. Sir. The cab's still alive in the field, but that is it. As you can see here, yeah, the line infantry of France is sort of suffering. It looks like, uh, yeah, red lining. Door set here looks like it's pretty much spent. His middle guardsmen hopefully might have one last more puff in them. 84 and 64, yeah. They might be able to have one more one more bayonet charge in them. Hopefully Messina's brought plenty of melee heavy units. I'm not so sure about that. Looks like just lots of lion infantry. Yeah, hard to say what these guys are really good at. I mean, the Flange Marseille sound like, I think, a fairly decent uh, line infantry. Spain looks like they're just, they're so numerous. We are seeing a lot of returning units here, which is good to see Dorsen is re rallying in quite a few areas, but where they're going to get chance to, I do not know. It looks like the Spanish are coming down this hill, and they're going to try and chase the, the French into the forest here and keep them maybe in the forest if they can. The Dragoons could do, I mean, this is an optimal opportunity, I think, for these Dragoons here in a moment to try and smash into the back of these Spanish units here. I think they've overcommitted. These Dragoons here, they could definitely uh, do with that, give that a go. And it looks like the uh, Polish Lancers as well still up their old tricks and spearing whoever comes into range. And you see here the uh, Provisional Dragoons going to give it a go, smashing these guys. I mean, with the uh, Lancers in the back and then the uh, Dragoons at the front, it is a good sandwich there. But the uh, Lancers have broken and it looks like the Dragoons might follow suit too. But I think it would have been a better opportunity to go for these units here. They could have uh, sort of sandwiched them with the Dragoons at the back and the infantry shooting in the front. That would have been a better combo. Uh, I would have thought anyway, and look at this, the Spanish air yeah, counter-charging, Dorsen and Messena fighting on the Legion of Ireland here, they're trying to fight for their lives. Looks like Spain is going to get forced back here, looks like the French with their fresh troops coming forward, are starting to sort of push them back. Looks like Dorsen's troops are still being phased out by the fresher Messena troops. It's a shame we don't have like more wall settlements for, uh, for NTW3 because that would make sieges so much more easy to do. But hey ho, we try, we try. But uh, yeah, we definitely have a feel like these dragoons. I mean, we could definitely give us some of these isolated Spanishes. Maybe that's why the isolated is like form square. But I mean, some of these units here for Spain, I was going to say, might not be able to form square and just seem like they're being over aggressive. France is going to do exactly what I thought it might be to charge here. I saw these Spanish infantry units, what it's going for, I mean, they're getting fibbed now. They're getting fibbed now, and in return, looks like the uh, French one was nearly pulled through, and they're going to be broken there. I mean, they kind of stopped, I think, a lot. Uh, pretty much, I think, when, the, uh, they, when they made contact. There's maybe a slight bit of fib in there from the Spanish. And still getting pushed back. These fresh Messena units have a no joy at the moment. Spain is just winning this melee fight. It's just kind of crazy to see. I mean, also they're fighting a lot of provisional infantry. That's probably not like making it easier here for the, uh, for the Spanish. And they are conscripts. These Frenchmen, they don't want to be here. Well, actually, I don't know. The, the Falange Marseille, they're breaking up 1-1-1. Still, one, one. So this is quite a decent unit. I mean, they're melling here at the French, and they're also getting side shot, as you can see, by the uh, by the Spanish uh, on the on the road here. So yeah, I mean, they're causing a bit of red line from those Spanish. But the French are also breaking it, just giving them the edge. I think the Spanish a little bit. So they're able to get some side shots in there. Good volley, just as these French go in here. That's a uh, should, I'd imagine, send these Frenchmen packing. But we'll see. The Spanish losing in a few other areas in their in their melee fights, having to go back in. France is crossing anywhere now. Which is probably what they should have done earlier. They shouldn't have all just bolted across this one little uh, land bridge and just crossed the river. Yeah, lion fight here for the uh, Spanish uh, with the French. Uh, this is definitely what the French would not want. The Spanish want a lion fight. They what they have numbers for. It's what they're here for. Not here for a lion fight. So it does seem like that today they have been. It seems like that is the case. 
Grenadiers here on the set they're going in. Glad there is some. I've, I've seen a lack of Grenadiers in this game. They might break through, but the Spanish are going to seem like they're going to double team that Grenadier unit. If anything, now would be the time to send forward the, uh, the middle guard again, try and get these guys stuck in. If they can win this fight here, potentially they can flank this, uh, this, this uh, force over here, and that could then make it a problem for the Spanish. Actually, Dorsen is already uh, preemptively doing that, and he's, as with his returning units here, he is actually looks like he's going to flank around. Spain might be in a little bit of trouble if they're not careful there. These French uh, forces here can keep a Spanish force in the fight. You never know. That might be a, they might be able to crush out the French. Yes, looks like Spain has yeah, thrown back that French assault here as well across the river. Their artillery is now at the riverside and it's shelling any French units from forward. Just keep blasting them, lads. I mean, they've got a clear line of sight onto some French from there. It's actually, it's the uh, Prussian Laguerre. They can see. Yeah, they, they can blast those easily enough. Uh, right now, I'd also be thinking can I get those line infantry across the river and can I get that gun? Because that's got to be an objective at this point. The center looks lost though. The Spanish have just done the French over every single time here. And there you go, the Spanish have responded to that door send threat. They seem like they have enough units to maybe hold this guy in place as well. Only one general lost. It is one of the, uh, the what is real for um, the French lost. But yeah, part of the door send core. The combat gen lost. I don't know if door send's actually at this battle. It's like a, uh, an actual general. I can't see the Senna either. Makes me think maybe we have all combat generals. The French, and maybe also the Spanish. Actually, no, I've seen the Spanish have some ge actual generals. What? I mean, the battle's far from over, but it does look like at the moment Spain is going to be changing history for the victory here. If they can, that's huge. I mean, the, the Spanish have won in a melee. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive. But yeah, it looks like Dorsen here being forced to withdraw to the forest line, sort of giving himself a bit of a bit of safety there and it looks like they're going to move forward where are they going to try melee so i don't know it's a bit, a bit risky of the uh i think to try and charge here at i mean we've got grenadiers still alive here we've got yeah, some decent units they're going to try and charge them while it's been shot at that's maybe asking a little bit too much of the spanish but we'll see how it goes some red lining going on there Plus the Grenadiers on a counter charge like got shot at like they have just done. Yeah, look at like the Spanish, you know, doing their bit. They're, they're break, uh, sorry, the French doing their bit. Breaking the Spaniards here. I think the Grenadiers might get broken here though. They break. Got a side shot that was pretty costly to them. More Spanish coming forward. They're going to put some volleys into the French. My gosh, how close do these guys want to get? Shooting each other without being in melee. That was incredibly close. And the Spanish like, yep, let's get out of there. That was a failed Spanish assault. That shows that, you know, the French aren't, aren't done yet. Is that a general coming forward? Looks like it. That's a Spanish general that's just bolted forward. I don't know who that is. Probably Santo Seedlays. There you go. Look at that. Being forced back down the hill again, the French. I think the Spanish are bringing up more fresh troops there as well. Again, I haven't seen a single Spanish during the day, and I'm pretty sure Santos uh, still does have some. I mean, the reward after breaking this unit here for this 20 second line infantry, yeah, is they win that, they win that fight with their red lining, so they just get the first volley they get in the face, they break. It's a tough line those Frenchmen out there. They're getting side shot here. They are making another push across the river here of the French. Some fairly healthy units in the centers. 
not some provisional infantry, but still healthy units. Look at that. On this side here, France has managed to throw back the Spanish. Thor sends returning troops here, doing their bit. It's good to see. I wonder if that's the general over here for the combat jet, Pierre. One unit of cab would be so useful right now just to chase down these guys. But the French have used all their cab. Their cab is uh, superiority, it seems. It still managed to fail to be built. Or I use it effectively anyway. French thrown back once again. Time and time again, these Frenchmen come forward, and time and time again, they're being pushed back. Italian artillery sitting up on this road, whether that's a, a good sort of blocker that maybe will uh, hold the Spanish in place. Looks like uh, they're using uh, canisters to try and blast these guys. Also, looks like the uh, the middle guard here with their sort of decent reloading skill, being a Fusilier unit, and managing to keep these guys at bay for now. For now. Looks like also France is sort of like trying to pressure on the Spanish here. Looks like they are, yeah, doing a decent job. Young guard as they're sort of sent here. Slowly chasing down these guys. I mean, French. Yeah, I just keep pressuring these uh, skirmishers. Just keep pushing on these guys. And force back the line infantry of the French. That's what I do. Because if the uh, skirmishers retreat, the line infantry is going to retreat as well. There you go, line of the routes, that's about to shoot it there. Yeah, the general here that keeps running in front of his own troops as they get as they start to let off some volleys. He needs to be careful, otherwise he will be joining Real in the dead zone. Yeah, it looks like this is the new line that's going to be formed by the Spanish. It's okay, but the problem is if the French keep advancing, which they should do. The French should keep advancing. Uh, they're gonna get the cover of the Spanish retreating troops here to help them out quite nicely. Italians going in. And a red lining. Yeah, looks like that might that charge might have failed just about. What's this unit? Volunteers is coming back. Oh, it's like what? Marine uh, like Marine? Uh, volunteers or something like that basically? It's only like sailor uh, volunteers. Yeah, I mean, this is really close to this flank here. I mean, with the mass routing going on on either side, either side might just like buckle from the end. I mean, the Spanish are like, they are worse off. It looks like, yeah, I mean, they shot their, this unit here just shot the back of that unit start routing. You need to be careful with friendly fire at the Spanish. It's a narrow game. Either side wouldn't get. Spain, I'd certainly say, is in the. Uh, Slightly ahead, I feel like, of the, of the French, but only just. I mean, if the French really wanted to push up here uh, with these units of the uh, line infantry, I think they could really cause a, an upset. The Spanish get around the flank. The center is just not on at all. The artillery here is definitely a good play by the French to kill off that area. The left is definitely also looking quite good for the uh, for the French as well. Where are these skirm these skirm these are huge units of skirmishers. They might break. French left though. Possible. I'm seeing more artillery shooting here, which is also a good idea. Just turn into a typical line fight. Just turn into a typical line fight. Just have the artillery here yet and just stop blasting at these infantry. Force them to come forward or force them to go backwards. Uh, that's what you need to do. I mean, this is an interesting angle being formed by the Spanish here. I mean, this French infantry, uh, the Irish infantry here, in fact. If they could uh, do this right, they could have just maybe charge down the line of the Spanish there. Might still get a chance. Not the greatest position. Six pounders are not quite sure what they want to do, but they're doing something. And there you go, more French going in. Oh, the um, maritime volunteers. <laughs> they didn't get a break though, they're redlining. More artillery sent over here, the 12 pound has been wielded. I don't know if they've actually done any firing up until this point. 
yeah, most of the Spanish retreating units are now in the back lines. So they might not be an issue now for morale. France might have missed this moment. In goes another unit of line infantry. That's actually charging into a unit. Looks like it's going to look in the wrong way for Spain. Spain side charging. I mean, now if France just charged up and hit this one as well. I mean, also order shoot in the side, I guess, but it should have maybe charged in it. That was, I feel like, a catalyst for, a, for maybe a bit more of an all out charge there from France. Or maybe they don't want to risk more, but more troops and silly charges, but they seem like they are. Yeah, France is our sorry. Canister here. Causing some upsets to the Spaniards. And it's good, it's good if you're room for the French. If you're room for the Spanish, not so great. I'm uh, totally for the Spanish here, kind of moving through a, t uh, a building. Don't think it should really be doing that, but it is. Oh, just one little cab unit over here. Be so useful right now. Just, they've got to the stage they've got to. Pretty well of the French. I'm slightly, uh, I'm very impressed with the Spanish. I'm slightly impressed with the French that survived this long. Uh, other than that, it's been a pretty disappointing turnout for them today. And uh, they've been losing in their own department, the melee department. Even the line fighting with like the young guards, which, like their trillions of all scares, they're known for being good at shooting. They still can out and shoot the Spanish. Certainly a bad day in the office for the, uh, the Spaniards. Uh, sorry, for the French. Against the Spaniards. The Spanish usually are one of the uh, easiest foes for the French. Because all you have to do is get a bit of a, a couple of units routing. You cause a mass route pretty quickly. And all of a sudden... You're turning one uh, Spanish flank in on the center. The Spanish have done very well. I mean, even in an urban combat, which is, you know, that's melee heavy. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Santa Sildes has done a very good job. Done a very, very good job. He's pushed, I mean, the Spanish got pushed right back to the edge of their uh, town. In fact, it's not the French didn't get that high. They just withdrew that high up to avoid the French wrath. And, uh, yeah, now the French are almost getting pushed out of the town themselves now. Units starting to break, uh, been in a uh, line fight for too long. You can see here the orange lining. But temporarily, they are. Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like both sides kind of running out of men. Maybe running out of ideas. The Spanish have a few more healthy reserves than the... And the French do. I mean, these units back here look fairly large and healthy. Whether they're okay in melee or line fights, I don't know. They might be the, the cheap crap that has been kept there as the scary numbers. France is trying something here on this right flank, and I, I still believe that this is the uh, the best chance for anything to happen. There's provisional infantry though that they're trusting in to try and try and uh, you know break through. They are trusting in terrible units here. It managed to break that artillery though. That's something, I guess. I think all they need to do, the Spanish, is buckle this uh, flank here for the for the French. It looks like they've actually managed to break this artillery, the Italian artillery. The 12 pounders are still going strong. This might be a general. I'm not sure. A Joseph Charbonnel might be a combat gen. The silent guns blasted that unit there. Yeah, they're doing some decent damage to these uh, Spanish units as they advance forward. How they haven't broken, I don't know. Doing a good job to hold on. French getting amongst some skirmishes. They kind of thin. Still, the French break them anyway. And it looks like the French on this right flank here. That idea of pushing forward, maybe to try and get this building here, has failed. They found more Spaniards. Spanish going back into melee. These guys just love a melee fight. They go 
routing another French unit. Can they get the next one? I doubt it. These guys must be tired. I mean, got blasted by artillery as well. Redlining. Yeah, robbery. But still, good result for them. And the French left is going to have to tuck in more and more. And this artillery is like literally like just dealing with the closest Spanish threat. They're like, yep, just keep blasting away, lads. Middle guard going in here. Excuse me, it is battling away. They should win, I'd imagine. Just about the red line, and then they broke themselves down to 24 men left. I wonder if there's the side shots there from the uh, from Pierre. I wonder whether that broke, broken. Whether he can now charge at this look at his gun. There's a lot of guns up here for this kind of actually. He doesn't want to stand there. That's for sure. He doesn't want to stand in front of the artillery. He's asking you to be shot at that point. Yeah, my guns have just the position there. Up the air. There you go, he breaks. Not good. Not good at all. The French are down to minimal sort of troops left. They look like they're making another futile charge over here. Yeah, look at that. Break so quickly. So quickly they break. So they're going to try and get this uh, skirmish. I'm surprised hasn't just run away. Oh, nearly at the last minute. And there you go. Spain actually charging again. The Irish Legion, it also looks like uh, the artillery crew in here having to deal with the line infantry as well, trying to get stuck in. But yeah, I wonder whether these uh, routing French units here will cause the others to mass route. Looks like line infantry and the artillery on the left. And the Real return looks like he did. And the uh, Irish Legion broke. There you go. France was victorious here, but does not necessarily matter because they're getting uh, beaten back everywhere else. You can see there again, the French losing three units to like one Spanish. Well, it won't be just one Spanish. These other units probably did support. It looks like they are going to get the gun now. This Italian gun in the center, which has been such a pain for a little while. And that's been silenced. And I think that's pretty much going to be game for the French. They haven't got much left. I'm just going to quickly fast forward as, yeah, the French are... Just needing mopping up at this point. But yeah, the Siege of Astorga looks like it is going to be a, uh, a Spanish victory here today rather than a French one like it was his in history. Looks like a history is going to be changed. And we're just waiting to see. Yeah, there's just last few charges. There you go. Line infantry going in against the guns. The uh, line infantry breaks. So the guns actually uh, hold their ground. It's very impressive. And looks like, yeah, the French going in with a couple, uh, couple of conscript units here. They're actually running more Spanish... <laughs> be funny if while I'm fast forwarding the act, this French actually manages to turn it around. Just like, yep. Out of nowhere, they just guys just, just never gave in. They just kept uh, beating back these Spaniards. The uh, provisional infantry here in the 65th, though. With the support of the artillery might be able to route these, uh, these Spanish units. We'll see. The provisional's already redlining. Looks like another uh, French unit getting in there. Another provisional infantry. I did route the Spanish there for a moment, but uh, a second unit, Spanish unit came in. Did the... the did the job. And Pierre over there, and also another Pierre. Looks like they're going to return shortly. Artillery here might actually hold back, and yeah, hold back another Spanish unit. Impressive stuff. And there we go. We'll just keep fast forwarding a little bit more as we wait for the uh, Spanish eventually work out. If they send two units of infantry at a time, they'll get this gun. Especially when they have plenty of infantry left. Uh, there you go. Looks like one of the Pierres is breaking. Uh, the other one just needs uh, putting down in a moment. And yeah, here come the Spanish. So they might have been hit again. Yeah, I think the Spanish again managing to be uh, rebuked by the uh, French artillery. They're just getting like shots off at the last second. There you go. A, a second Spanish 
uh, infantry unit might just be about to do the job. Uh, they just, yeah, that's all you need to do. Send two in at a time because they can't fire two volleys at once. There you go. That's uh, that unit dealt with. And then we're just waiting for, yeah, the Pierre uh, Thouvenot over here to be routed. But there you go. It's been a pretty bloody fight. There isn't many Spaniards left. I mean, the bodies uh, mounting in this battle is huge. I mean, at one point, I did think the French had it. I mean, when the French pushed up here so early on, it was like, this is going to be a rollover for the uh, for the French. It's going to be easy. And then the same over here. It looked like the French with the uh, combination of their cavalry and their infantry might have just uh, cleared up this uh, outer sort of flank here. And then they could have just rolled around and encircled the city. But it wasn't to be in the end. They, the Spanish managed to get enough reinforcements over there. And with some key volleys, managed to push back the French lines. And deal with the uh, the French cav as well. Now just waiting for this final general to be uh, to be killed off, I think. And we'll just fast forward a little bit more. And yeah, once he's dead, it should be GG, I think. It doesn't look like there's any other French units lying around. I think this is a general here, this Pierre unit. Fighting on to the very end. Very nice, very nice. There you go, he's routed by the Spanish. And that is the Siege of Astorga. I hope you guys did enjoy. We'll have a quick look at the end results and uh, see who did the best. I think that we're going to have the, uh, the French perspective. Um, but I hopefully will put up all of the results. Oh, here we go. We've got some provisional infantry still returning. Come on, guys. Just give in your conscripts. You don't want to fight, really. Um, but we'll see. Maybe they'll just go into melee. Might not even need that. No, it didn't. And there you go. A defeat. Hopefully the end results are showing on your screen now. This was sent in by Johnny Le Buffoon, who was playing as, I believe, one of the French armies. So thank you very much, man, for sending this one in. Um, and we'll have a quick look at some of the unit stats. I mean, we've got, yeah, sh tiny kills. 76 kills for Young Guard, 53 for a line infantry there. Guards of Paris, 40, uh, 48 kills in there. A Grenadier unit. Yeesh. Ar sorry, coming in quite high up. as fourth highest for 44. That's never a good sign. But there you go, guys. That is uh, all of the results. There's even this Vistula Legion. Didn't really see them. They got routed so quickly. My gosh. So there you go, guys. That is today's NTW3 battle. If you did enjoy and want to see some more, there's some more appearing on your screen now. Do go and check those ones out. And uh, yeah, I'll soon be doing some 9.6 battles uh, when we've wrapped up the last 9.5 replay. Um, but yeah, until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.